overdrive that he wants to do the show for like 12 hours. So we had to tell him to lay off of it for a little while, but it does give you energy. And I know for a fact that now I actually want to go to the gym and I have been going for the past week or so getting into this. And uh, I want to thank you for, you know, actually researching and putting all the time into it. I know you spent hundreds of hours. I mean, for Fluoride Shield, you spent just 100 hours looking at the documentation, and this took you five years. So I would encourage everyone to check out InfoWarsLife.com and look up uh, the Super Male Vitality. And also check out Survival Shield and Fluoride Shield. But I really encourage you to try it out and see how it works for you, because I know it actually really does work, and it's given me innovation and inspiration to go out and get back on track because I actually did get out of shape for a little while and I'm reclaiming it right now. So check out InfoWarsLife.com and Super Male Vitality. Look at what the NSA surveillance boss just said about this. He said that the NSA has defined U.S. surveillance programs as part of a noble mission to protect the nation and that any reports about what they're doing are simply sensationalized. Keith Alexander, the head of the NSA, said that not only was their no mission noble, but that reports about what they're doing have been sensationalized. Well, there is absolutely nothing about a secret shadow government that is breaking the law. He's lied to Congress. He and James Clapper have lied to Congress about what they're doing. They're breaking the law. They're simply criminals who don't think they're subject to the law. And we've seen how the NSA is using PRISM in conjunction with large internet companies. But you're not even safe if you stay away from the internet. We now learn that there are backdoors even in your computer processor. Take a look at this clip from Intel talking about their new generation of processors. Unlike software-only solutions that require PCs to be powered on and software agents running on a fully functional OS, a hardware-assisted approach enables PCs to be managed regardless of system state and without requiring software agents. The result? IT or IT service providers can diagnose and fix problems without a desk-side visit, schedule PCs to power down at night to cut energy costs and still have the ability to power them up for off-hours patching. So Intel reported about that, but it went, again, largely unnoticed. But in this article we have today on InfoWars, secret 3G Intel chip gives Snoop's backdoor PC access. It points out that the Intel Core vPro processors contain a secret 3G wireless chip that allows remote disabling and backdoor access to any computer even if it's turned off, and that's because it uses the system's phantom power. So it can individually turn on hardware components and it can access anything on your computer and it allows third parties to do this. And that video that you just saw, Intel is bragging about how it can be used for system management. And of course, like any technology, it can be used for good purposes or for bad purposes, but we've already seen how the NSA uses all the technology that it gets for evil purposes, for spying on people. It points out that the webcams can also be remotely accessed. So any third party, and you can bet that an interested third party is going to be the NSA. And as a former NSA director said just 10 days ago, they want to see our internet, he wants to see our internet look more like China's. He said it's too much like the Wild West. Well, you know what? In the Wild West, in America's frontier past, we had respect for individual liberty, not in China. If the government in China doesn't like what you're saying, they can grab you and force you to confess your crimes in public. Well, it's not just Internet dissenters that they're cracking down on in China. Of course, they crack down on people who are dissenting apart from the Internet, people who are speaking out about human rights violation against forced abortions. Now we're seeing the same pattern in the United States and in the UK, where they're going after dissenters and shutting them down or preventing them from speaking.